Hey, uh, so welcome to the Ultimate Explainer video series on Frappe React SDK. Uh, those of you who are not aware, Frappe is a full stack web development framework. React is a popular front end library. We like to you know, code in React for our front end and we love Frappe. Right, so we wanted to be able to use you know a Frappe backend with a custom front end using React, and hence we made this SDK. It's a simple library, um, but the documentation you know it's available within the code base. Um, outside the code base, we do have a documentation site, but uh, it's not up to the mark. Uh, we spoke to Hussein from Frappe and he said that it would be a great idea if we built out a video series, um, you know, using Frappe React SDK and uh, that would help a lot of people. So this is it. Uh, this is the video uh, that hopefully will solve all of your doubts. Um, so yeah, what is Frappe React SDK? It's a, it's a library uh, and uh, it's available on NPM. You can just do npm i frappe react sdk frappe dash react dash sdk and uh, that's pretty much it but what it does is that it allows you to interface from your react front end to the frappe backend right uh, what do i mean by interfacing uh, basically it it has a bunch of hooks a bunch of react hooks um, that make api calls right those could be you know generic api calls like creating updating documents listing documents or it could be you know custom api calls that you yourself make in your apps right they also support you know file uploads authentication obviously and real time events with socket we are going to cover all of these um before this uh, we had a you know a live stream on build with hussein wherein um, I went over a bunch of these topics, but couldn't cover all of them. Um, so yeah, this is the explainer video series. I don't know, maybe there would be around 13, 14 videos in this. Uh, haven't planned it. As you can see, this is totally unplanned. Um, it's just, you know, it's 8.49 PM at the office and uh, this is what I'm doing. So yeah, uh, I'll just quickly go through, you know, what Frappe React SDK is, right? So, yeah, as I said, it's got a bunch of hooks. We'll go over these one by one, right? But under the hood, Frappe React SDK is built using Frappe JS SDK. Uh, I'll get to that in a bit. And SWR. SWR is a library uh, for data fetching. It's maintained by Vercel, the company. It's completely open source, but it has a stale while revalidate logic for all API calls, right? Um, you can read the documentation over here, right? But we'll get into details, you know, uh, as we go along this series. Um, next, Frappe JS SDK is another library that we built. So when we when we decided to build Frappe React SDK at the Comet company, we thought that you know what? Let's first build something that is generic that works for all. Um, you know, front end frameworks, even vanilla JS. So Frappe JS SDK, if you're using Vue, if you're using, you know, anything, right, you can use Frappe JS SDK on the front end. Under the hood, this uses Axios, right? And Axios is used for all the API calls that we make. Uh, then Frappe JS SDK is being used under Frappe React SDK. This is the documentation website. If you want to have a look, if you want to contribute, please, uh, that would be very helpful. Now, the idea is what can you build, right, with Frappe React SDK and, uh, well, you can build pretty cool stuff. So we've built Raven, which is, uh, you know, an open source Slack alternative. It's built using Frappe on the back end, Frappe React SDK on the front end and using Chakra UI. We are pretty much going to be using the same tech stack. And what we'll be building to cover all of these topics, uh, here is we'll be building an expense tracker app, the same thing that we built on Build with Hussein. So yeah, we'll be covering all the way from authentication to real-time events. And uh, with this video series, um, I hope you will be able to do everything. 
hopefully we don't get st- uh, you know stuck in step 1 which is where most people get stuck so let's see uh thank you and i hope you follow along